Hi, this is Victoria with Fish to Food, and today we're interviewing Mark Crawley, and we're he's going to be showing us his aquaponic water catchment system, and we're calling it the Crawley Water Catch Aquaponic Water Catchment System. <laughs> Coming to a store near you. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this is very ingenious what he's come up with it, with here. So Mark, why don't you tell us what you've done? Uh, okay. Basically, it's a 50-gallon uh, rain barrel that's uh, on the top of this is actually a screen, and I've been playing with uh, with the notion of maybe using an an umbrella turned upside down. To help capture some of the rain with a with a wad of some kind of well, that's cool. Uh, and where did you get the rain material? Where did you get the rain barrel? Uh, City of Okoy. They have a I don't know how often the event is, but they invite the community to come out and paint their own rain barrels, and you know it's all for the sake of trying to conserve water. So and that's that. actually an HDPE or yeah. LDPE barrel Correct. that that you could purchase or I don't know where they get them. Actually, I'd like to I'd like to find them because of the the fact that the lid is removable. Right. Yeah, but Okay. Yeah, pickle barrels is what Pickle they barrel. Yeah. Okay. That, it does look like a pickle barrel now that you mention right. it. Uh, and, and, you, yeah, and you paint it in a, in a camouflage. That's right. really cool in case we're well, ever that, invaded so, by a foreign country. No, that's, <laughs> so, that's so when the wife looks out here, she doesn't freak out over the big, you know, bright white and bright, bright blue uh, structure. <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So it is really to kind of meld into all right. the other uh, it backyard. Looks, it looks really good. Very, very well, nice. The city plumbed it for, uh, for a faucet, which is a very effective. Um, but I put some bulkhead fittings in here. I uh, found some clear PVC. And if you bring that around over here, you now can th see. Now, these are the bulkhead fittings right here. This is the bulkhead right fitting. And this is a tube. This is PVC. PVC. So this is a 90 degree with, with thread, threaded okay. into the bulkhead. Okay. All right, and this is, like I said, clear PVC. If you come around here, you can see. Oh, I see. I put this here yesterday on Friday the 30th, and you can see that my little water indicator, which Go down a little bit. There you go. It's actually the spray nozzle of a spray can, which happened to fit the diameter perfectly. Oh. So now I can watch the water level that's in the rain barrel. The green thing is the spray nozzle the, of a spray can. From a spray can, right. And what that's doing is that's floating at the top. Of, see, oh, the water right. is in the, the, the barrel at this level. Right. Oh, okay. So I've created basically just a water level. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now, and I've covered the sunny side of the of the tube with electrical tape so it'll be less likely to mildew and uh, grow okay. out. Okay, all right, so okay. I didn't see at first that this whole tube is clear and right. it's covered with this black tape. With, with electrical and tape. this yeah. this green, uh, what did you call that? Well, that's a spray nozzle. Spray nozzle is floating. So wherever this is floating it indicates where the, the water level, level is Correct. inside right. here. Okay. So it's strictly a gravity I got you. driven what kind of. What's the other pipe coming out of the center of this? Thing at the bottom. That was uh, really just a support, oh, support in case if it were to sag a little bit, I wanted to have something because that's 450 pounds right there. Okay. 50 gallons times eight, uh, eight pounds per gallon. So, and I left these removable, so you know these these will come that's out. That's PVC. So if I do need to service, oh, okay. if I do need to service it, or you know turn this is a valve uh, with another bulkhead fitting okay. that actually is the whole purpose for the system. Okay, so this feeds into your uh, that sump goes tank. To the sump tank. Sump right. tank, which is right on the other side of the screen. Down here. And the whole purpose of this is to catch rainwater so that you can replenish the water in your system that escapes from evaporation. Without any Without, without you any having thought. to do anything. Correct. We like that. Oh, yeah. Do you too. have a float valve in the plus, sump tank? Plus, I don't have to train anyone else to monitor the sump water level anymore. They just have to monitor where the little spray right. nozzle is. And right. They say, Mark, it's getting low. So, we'll so if it gets low, that means that it hasn't rained very much. Correct. Well, I also have a uh, house filter that I use for brewing beer with a charcoal filter that will eliminate almost 99% of chlorine. So if it does get low and the rain hasn't been plentiful, then I can just put that uh, filtered water in there also to fill it up. Right. Well, that's very cool. So what happens down here is the water comes from the rain barrel and goes to, I used a, a one and a half inch uh, PVC fitting that's threaded and slip-slip, which mm -hmm. basically just oversized. 
also the engine, uh, engine and eight pipe right. um, is on a barb fitting that goes to a float valve. Okay. And the float valve is set inside the sump at the right height to where when the water gets too, too low of a level, the valve opens up, allows the water to drain from the rain barrel into the sump. And then once the water level in the sump comes back up to normal, it activates the ball valve to shut it off. So it's, like I said, it's a mindless system. It uh, doesn't take any, any other forethought other than maintaining the, the level in the barrel. That's pretty high tech for aquaponics. High tech and scarpology. And that means you can go on two week exotic vacations without having to worry about yeah, once your I, water level. Once I cash in on all the fish that I'm raising, yes, right, I can, right. we can do that. Um, I used a threaded fitting on this um, to, to hold this in place. So this really just holds the the uh, float valve at the correct location and keeps it from floating all around everywhere. Um, I ended up having to use one of these. Uh, it's just a, a cork from a cigar tube on the end here because the water level will come up to about this point and would drain out. So uh, in case you need one, oh, you can have it. If you ever need to plug that, that in. So you can see the system is just about the ball valve or the uh, um, the bell just now, a bell, bell socket is just now opening up. Right, so the, it's just, it's just uh, released the water into the sump tank. Right. right, so it's a very difficult water level to, to discern whether it's low or not because the levels do radically change as the system functions. So the ball, the, the ball valve actually takes all that guesswork out. You don't have to know exactly what state of, of uh, cycle you're in with the uh, with the uh, rise and fall. Looks like you've got that covered with the spot. <laughs> I did. Well, a... it's, it's actually a brew bag you use for hops and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I was trying to keep some of the particles that are in the system out of the, the very delicate ball valve action. So it acts as a filtration Another, pipe. Yeah, yes. kind of a filtration. And this is the other part of your sump <laughs> tank over here, right? Correct. Yeah, only because of due space. Right, um, so you've got those joined with the bulkhead fitting. Correct. Okay. Um, can we take a look at your fish? Cut. Where did you buy the ball? No, you won't. You, you can't see the fish.